Richard Elsey here. Now, today I simply want to talk about the presidential candidates. Uh, you know, I've been trying to look at them, trying to keep an open mind about them, and, you know, I don't know. Got Hillary Clinton. No, I would vote for anyone else just to keep her out of office. Um, w w what is anyone thinking? Have they been watching historically what she has done, what she has said? Uh, I can't, she should be in prison. And she's running for president? I, I don't get that at all. So someone needs to send me a long email and explain that to me. Then you have who? Marco Rubio. Okay, Marco Rubio. I, d I don't see a lot of things wrong with old Marco Rubio. Um, and, and he would probably be a great choice. But the one thing I do see and, and don't agree with him on, he calls himself a Cuban-American. Not an American, but a Cuban-American. So that sort of bothers me. You know, since he's really not an American. Maybe I missed something, or maybe I'm wrong, but that's it. All right, we have another good candidate, Ted Cruz. But, again, Ted Cruz, he's a Canadian, Canadian-born. In my opinion, you know, I was always taught that you had to be born on American soil that, even when I was in the military, they said, you know, if, if a woman has, you know, is pregnant and, you know, um, if you ever thought your child should be president of the United States or maybe, then you better go back to the States, even though that she could be born in a, you know, a military concern or military hospital that's, you know, even in a U.S. Embassy that's American soil, it doesn't matter. It has to be a natural-born U.S. citizen in the United States. So, all of a sudden now it's, you know, he's Canadian-born. His mother was American, you know, so he's half American. No, he's Canadian, born in Canada. So I don't believe he's even eligible to run for president. Then you have Bernie Sanders, way too liberal and a socialist, you know. It's just um, unrealistic. I don't see him doing it. If he does, you know, we got a lot of crazy people out there. Money's got to come from somewhere. He can't simply take money from nothing and start giving it away to everyone. You know, that uh, sounds, it's crazy. So, and he's had to be 75 um, you know, he's going to be pushing 80 before he's, you know, just his first term. So I, I don't think, you know, we want, you know, he's not a good choice as president. We also have the wild card. Yeah, Donald Trump. He's wild. He's an American, Christian. Um, and he says what the American people want to hear. I'm still shaky about him, you know, because the guy is obviously out there and he, he does, doesn't care about any special interests, any special needs. He's not very diplomatic. Um, I mean, he says what he thinks, which I'm not 100% sure that's a bad thing, but I'm still looking at it, you know, I'm still thinking about it. Um, but out of the choices, Trump's the man. You know, I don't, I don't see anyone else that I would choose over him. You know, if, if anyone, if I would choose anyone, it's Marco Rubio. And again, the, the main thing that I dislike about Marco Rubio is he's, you know, pretending to be a Cuban-American. If he had just come out and said, I'm an American. I was born in Miami. No problem, but Cuban-American. You know, I uh, just have a little problem with that. Uh, just like we got a Muslim president now, I just, you know, I don't know. I'm going to look at it. And right now, you know, Rubio and Trump, if I had to pick two. Now, 
Again, Cruz, the only real thing I see is he's a Canadian. Um, if he was an American, I would say yes, in a heartbeat, but he's got that one little drawback. So anyway, tell me what y'all think.